Sing Radio Network. If U.S. politics was truly democratic, then we would not have war. I took a long walk this morning. The sun came up as it started pouring. I remember being little once upon a time when somebody told me that's God crying. If she is, I think I'm a white man. People going hungry and their children dying. And she knows there's no good reason For she provides plenty to feed them But the greedy man leaving on the shackles Making profit off a of slaughtering cattle And it is, brother no less Conditioning man with a taste for flesh Good afternoon. I want to welcome everybody back to the White Buffalo Hour. This is your host, John Phillips, and we are broadcasting from the great state of Massachusetts on January 28th, 2015, one day after Snowageddon, as much of the eastern part of our state has been blanketed with 24 inches of snow. During our last broadcast, Christianity Dances with the Devil, we began to explore the eerie similarities between the 17th chapter of Revelations in the Bible and our current political crisis in Washington, D.C. We want to congratulate Anonymous for launching an international education effort to inform the public about pedophilia in high places. The hashtag Op Death Eaters campaign is now collecting data from around the world, and I have posted links at my Twitter account and on my Google page at White Buffalo Production at gmail.com that list hundreds of articles about the problem of pedophilia in high places. Once you examine the data, It's hard to deny that there is something wrong in many of our local, state, and federal governments around the world. It is absolutely clear from the data that the 1%, our Babylonian leaders, have used sexual compromise to control nations and to steal the natural resources of third world countries around the world. We suggested in our last show that once a political leader involves himself in pedophilia, his ability to represent the people vanishes, and whoever controls the honeypot controls how that person votes for the rest of his career. So educate yourself about hashtag eaters and let us unite to stop child abuse. Today's show is called Who Controls the Honeypot and How Do They Control It? The recent revelation that Israel was threatening President Clinton with the release of his private interactions with Monica Lewinsky if convicted Israeli spy Jonathan Pollard was not released from United States prison is one important piece of evidence in our modern-day Babylonian psychosexual drama. It was Wayne Matson at the WayneMatsonReport.com that first reported two important details of the Elliot Spitzer case in New York that was headline news for months. The Empress Club, the elite prostitution ring in New York City, was controlled by Israeli interests. Wayne Matson also discovered that it was leaks from the NSA surveillance program Stellar Winds that led to Spitzer's exposure and eventual downfall. 
these revelations seriously hindered Spitzer's courageous fight against the mega banking conglomerate. There is clear evidence that there are connections between many of the different sexual scandals that have frequently remade the political landscape over the years. It was J. Edgar Hoover, a 33rd degree Freemason, who first began to collect files of all the members of Congress and presidents. And Hoover used these blackmail files for political leverage when he needed it. When Hoover died, on May 2nd, 1972, it was James Jesus Eccleton who was the first to enter Hoover's office. Angleton ran the CIA counterintelligence program in non-communist countries, and he became a key player in the relationship between Israeli Mossad and the Central Intelligence Agency. If you look at how history evolved in the United States after Angleton's visit to Hoover's office, it is rather obvious that a dual CIA Mossad asset inside our own government took over the blackmail files. And I have suggested on this show before that the death of Hoover and the transfer of these files was the most important event in Watergate. President Nixon was insisting that Israel return the land stolen from the Palestinians during the 1967 war. And it was Henry Kissinger, another dual Israeli asset inside our own government, that encouraged Nixon to set up the plumbers that led to his eventual downfall. Now, we've all been conditioned in the Babylonian tradition that to criticize Israel or anything Jewish is not to be done. In fact, in many countries, expressing an opinion about Jewish crimes against humanity can get you arrested. The Charlie Hado incident is a perfect example of this corporate media paradigmatic illusion of reality. Charlie was the perfect example of the Antichrist, and everything he did was against the principles laid down in the teachings of Jesus. France and many other countries seem to think it's okay to attack Islam, yet it is a crime to attack Judaism. In our own United States of America, this classical conditioning is ever-present as demonstrators taking to the streets demand society realize that black lives matter, but at the same time these demonstrators seem to have forgotten that Muslim lives matter. It is a sad day in our history when a war criminal, Netanyahu, is invited to speak to Congress. If we were a real republic, then Netanyahu would be arrested the moment he stepped on U.S. soil. But I'm not here today to criticize Judaism or the 99% of Israelis who recognize their own disease. However, in Revelations chapter 2, verse 9, John warns all of humanity that as we approach the most important transition in the history of humanity from a society based on war into a society based on peace, that a group of people who pretend that they are Jewish but who in reality worship Satan or the beast will deceive all of humanity. 
Revelations chapter 2, verse 9 states, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are worshipers at the synagogue of Satan. So the Babylonian system is a system controlled by people who pretend they follow Judaism, but in fact they worship and promote devil worship. 